everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom never thought i would be filming in my bathroom but here we are if it's echoey i'm sorry i'm in a bathroom the acoustics are really good just embrace it with me but today i'm filming a very exciting video i am going to be redoing my rudsta wide ikea greenhouse cabinet so yeah, I have everything I need over here. I finally got the last of my packages today. I'm not like going insane. It's not going to be the most decked out Ikea rest the cabinet ever, but I got some new shelves. I got some new lights and we're going to put it all together. I found my Ikea rest the cabinet fully built with the lights that are currently in it on my Facebook group from someone who was selling it, obviously. And I got it for $120. It was already built, like I said, perfect condition. It's got some weather stripping. It's not fully weather stripped, which is fine by me because it is in my bathroom. So it does get that extra boost of humidity like every day. So we love that. And the lights that came with it, they're great. They're doing a great job in my cabinet currently, but I did want to upgrade them with my Barina T5s. I didn't know if I was gonna get this cabinet. I was going to keep it this way for a while, like exactly how it came. It did come with the second glass shelf as well, but I had to take that out due to the moss pole that I have in there. And I wanna be able to put a couple more moss poles in here as well. So I got some shelves off Etsy that I'm going to use to hopefully still give me two shelves, but allow me to put taller things in there. Cause as you can see, I just have the one shelf and it's like really limiting my space. I did also get these magnetic shelves off of Amazon. I will leave them linked down below. And I've already started using them just because I needed the extra space in here, as I already mentioned. So those are a really great addition. If you have a Redsta or any cabinet that has like a magnetic surface, those shelves are great. They hold really well. And my friend saw them and she was like, oh, I love those. So just a little tip there. I think they're like spice cabinet shelf things and I think a lot of people use them for their greenhouse cabinets but I digress I am just really excited to deck this out like I said I I decided when I got this cabinet when I finally did redo it I was just going to redo it to my dream cabinet something that I'll be able to move around and play with more often and I won't have to keep investing more money into it so I am going to keep the glass shelves that go with it that way I have even more options in the future if I decide I want to mix it up from what I have. But once I do this cabinet, I am done. Like I'm not going to keep investing money into it. I am slowing down on my plant hobby as far as adding new accessories and new plants, unless I get them through trade. I'm just trying to really relax on it. I'm really happy with my where my collection is at. And I have a couple of exciting things that I want to try to do with my plant hobby, such as really propagating my plants like crazy and being able to share them. So that's where I'm at in the plant hobby. So that's why I went ahead and invested in getting some things for my cabinet. I will tell you the prices of anything I paid for that I remember. I don't remember the prices of everything, but I will try to also link everything I show in this video down below so you guys can grab it if you're interested. But we're keeping it pretty simple. I'm excited to put it all together, but the first thing we have to do is clean it out, which I'm not as excited for because it really needs to be cleaned out. I did take a little bit of B-roll to show you the up close of this so you guys would have seen that probably already so we're gonna just take everything out of here i'm gonna give it a good old wipe down with some windex i also have my vacuum in here because there's some dirt i need to vacuum up on the bottom but let's just get started i don't know how this is gonna go but i hope you guys enjoy and here we go so i'm not gonna be taking anything off of the top of the cabinet in this video it's all just going to remain where it's at but everything inside needs to come out so down here, these are actually all propagations that I'm taking to the plant swap. So I have some Cebu Blue that I just potted up. I have some Hoya, some exciting Hoya too. So those are going to be really great. My mom actually got me a bunch of these plastic containers from her work and I just poked some holes in the bottom. So that was really awesome that she was able to find me something at her job. She works at a plastic factory. So that's really handy. So I have some new propagation things because these Amazon ones suck. I mentioned that in my last video, so. Yeah, so let's get all of these out of here. This little one has a mushroom in it, so I guess my soil is doing really well in there, but I definitely probably 
should address it. It looks like it has something going on. All right, and here is like my favorite plant right now just because it's on a moss pole and it's like, I have two plants on a moss pole, but this one's my favorite <laughs> and it looks so cute. All right, I'm gonna vacuum out all the dirt. And this is like the little shelf holder. I need to figure out how to put this back in. It proved to be more difficult than I suspected because it has the weather stripping on it. So, and I have no idea what weather stripping she used in the cabinet, but it looks really good. It's black. So if you want to keep it cohesive, I really recommend finding a black weather stripping because it looks phenomenal. You can't even tell. And these shelves need to come out as well. So here's a close up of what they look like. They're so cute. So the magnet on the back is also very large. So it's very secure on there out of here and I do have a little bit of a gnat problem I'm trying to get under control in my cabinet as you can see with that little sticky trap pretty gross all right and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the bottom part down all right now for the top and this is where I start realizing that I'm old and can no longer feel my knees. And enjoy my work attire. This is what I wore to work from home today. <laughs> Very styling, I know. And some of my Hoya from my mystery Hoya unboxing are growing really well. Maybe I'll do an update on those if you guys are interested. All right, so I got all the plants out. I don't really need to clean this shelf off right now because I'm not using it. So I'm just going to take it out. So the shelf is out, the lights are connected to it, so we're gonna leave those for now. All right, I've wiped down everything else. The hardest part here is going to be getting these lights off. So let's go ahead and just unplug it and see, I can't, I don't have a blow dryer, so I cannot try that technique. Right, so I got <laughs> the first one off, and unfortunately it did leave sticky, sticky residue on the top of the shelf, which is a bummer, but that's okay. I'm not using those sticky things to hang my new lights. I got some magnets that I'm gonna use, so that'll be nice. But it's kind of a bummer. It's okay though, nobody's gonna see it. <laughs> Let's try to get this other one off. Right, light number two is off. I had to turn the bathroom light on because as you can tell, there are no more lights in the cabinet. That part is done. Let's go ahead and get this out. Wow, so I don't really know how she got that in there because it was a pain to get out. And I know the Brinas will not fit through there, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to figure that out. The cord is also white on those, but it's gonna be okay. I don't need it to look super aesthetically pleasing. I just want it to look clean and nice. So we'll do the best we can. And I'm not gonna be drilling any holes in here for wires. I just don't wanna do that to my cabinet. So I'll make it work. The other thing is the Brinas are not on a timer and those lights were on a timer, so. Not a big deal. I come into the bathroom first thing every morning, so I'll just turn them on then. And then the first, like right before I go to bed, I'm in here, so it'll be fine. All right, and I will probably try to sell those lights or gift them to somebody, but I do not think I'm gonna keep them because I do love Barinas and I'll probably just invest in those continuously in the future. But speaking of, it is that time. So I have my fresh pack of Barina T5s here and I'm gonna get ready to install them. Let's see, I also, to hang them, like I mentioned, I got some magnets. I see this on YouTube a lot, where people use magnets to hang their lights from their cabinet so they don't have to use the sticky things. So we're gonna give that a shot. So I got a pack of hooks on Amazon. They looked affordable, and so these are the ones I went with. They are two pieces, so you have to screw them together. The magnet is pretty strong. And you just get the hook and you get the magnet and then you just screw it in as such. And you're ready to hang it. Here we go. So that's what it looks like. It should just hang really nicely in the cabinet. I'm gonna put a couple of these together and then we're going to figure out 
how the heck we can get these lights in the cabinet. Got a couple of magnets. I'm just gonna throw them up there to make sure everything is good and dandy. Oh yeah, those are hecka strong, so perfect. Now, I think I just decided I wanna put the shelves in before I do the lights so I can see where I wanna put the lights. Although I don't really need to do that. So never mind because I can move the lights. So let's see. You get your little cords and this definitely is not gonna fit through the hole. So I am gonna have to figure something out, but we'll make it work. And then if you guys have any suggestions for anything you see me doing that you think would be better, please leave them down below. I do appreciate feedback, so give it to me if you have it. If you have a Red Still Wide that you've decked out, send me a picture on Instagram at Lori's underscore leaves, and I would love to see them. So I have my light, and I'm going to take the zip ties that come with the light, and that is how I'm going to hang these, because that's what I've seen everybody do. It seems to work. And I am going to give it a shot and hopefully it works for me as well. Okay. See how we did. Yeah, I think that is going to be good. I'm just going to loosely make the zip tie. And then we'll adjust as we get it in here. So there to move this back a little now I think I want to put the little light turn on button I think I want to put that in the back knees a little bit perfect and I will cut the zip ties whenever I'm sure that's where I want them but I just hung them and I put the little part that has the power button, I put it so it's facing the back because I know the power button's there if I need it because I have them on my other shelf. I also have them facing the back on my other shelf and I just think it'll be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So I'm just gonna do the one for now and then I'm gonna see if I want more light before I do it. Although I can just take it out if I don't, but I'm going to go ahead and put the shelf in and then put the other, the shelves in and put the lights on those as well. And we'll go from there. But my shelves are the most exciting part. I ordered these off of Etsy from a shop called One Would Think, like W-O-O-D. And these are acrylic shelves. I got two half shelves that are wavy edged and I'm going to put them so they are like staggered. I saw somebody else do that in the review photos and I was like, that's perfect. So they were a little bit expensive, but the quality is amazing. I just need to remove this film that's on them and you guys will see. But I went with the half shelves. You, I bought two of them, the wavy edge with like the, the pedal, I think is what they call the pedal um, holes. So yeah, I'm excited to get these off. These came today. These are the piece I was waiting for. So let's take them apart. The packaging said that you could use a hair dryer to help you remove the paper film, or you could use water or Windex. So I have my Windex here. So I'm just going to spray the edge of the paper with Windex and hopefully it'll be pretty smooth. So it does have protective film on both sides. So hopefully this won't be a huge process, but we shall see. I just got my nail under there and we're peeling. It's going pretty good. Oh, these are so gorgeous. I'm glad that I like waited a little bit and saved up and I chose the right ones. I took my time. I went and looked through a lot. And I think I'm going to be really happy with this setup for a really long time. And that's what's important. And then if in the future I no longer like plants, I could use this cabinet for something else. Or I can gift it to a friend. Or I could sell it and get some money back. We Like there's so many possibilities. It's such a gorgeous shelf. It doesn't have to just be for plants. And then I think these shelves will really just like make it have a long life as well. Because I can use these shelves. I'm also keeping the glass shelves. So the cabinet is going to be in my life for a long time. So I'm okay with investing in it a little bit. 
I have my other greenhouse cabinet. Um, you guys have seen the video on that one, and I show it a lot more often. It's in my kitchen. It's another Ikea one. It starts with a D, like default or something cabinet. It's the tall, thin one, and I love that one. I haven't invested any money into it other than the lights and the cabinet itself. I also found that one on Facebook. So if you guys are looking for a greenhouse cabinet and you don't want to spend all the money or you can't travel to an Ikea to pick it up, I do recommend just stalking your plant Facebook groups or stalking Marketplace on Facebook and you can find some really great deals. I found both of my shelves on there very discounted and I didn't have to build them. So we got the first side off and it, like they came like the other ones was in pristine condition because they used it for their like uh figure figurines or whatever that they displayed and I got it for a really good price because they had so many of them and then this one I got from a planty person so it already had the lights in it and stuff so I was able to start using it right away and it was already weather stripped and stuff so I didn't have to do that part of it which is great now if I wanted to go a little bigger I could I could go ahead and weather strip the whole thing but I'm not interested in doing that my other cabinet in the kitchen is not weather stripped at all and the humidity stays pretty good in there. So with this one being in the bathroom, I definitely don't need it. Oh, this is so pretty. I definitely hate doing this part, but it's worth it. Hey, would you look at that? It's so pretty. Now, I know that he has started designing his shelves with these cutouts that are for your light cords, which is very smart. So that is amazing and it's so nice quality. Each of these shelves was $80. So I know that that's a little pricey, but again, super high quality. I think it's pretty on point for what most of the shelves were that I saw for like an acrylic shelf, but I can understand if that's outside your budget. He had tons of different options for you could do quarter shelves or full shelves or half shelves. You don't have to get any cutouts, which would have made taking that paper off a lot easier. Uh, but I just decided if I was going to do it, I'm going to just get exactly what I want and then I have what I want. So yeah, that's how I've always lived my life. It's how I was raised. Like just save up for the thing that you really want instead of buying a bunch of things you don't want. So that is what I did. The shipping was really fast. I got it quickly. They shipped through UPS. So that was nice. And the packaging was amazing. They were not damaged at all. I'm going to go ahead and put the first shelf in. Okay, it looks so good. I'm gonna give you guys like B roll at the end or like a closer look at the end before I put the plants in, then I'll show you after I put the plants in. But it looks really good. I have all the space here. So when I put another shelf down here, I'm gonna put the fat part over here. But right now, I think we're gonna try to hang the other light on here just to see how it will work. My plan is to just use the zip tie and zip tie it through some of the holes that are in the shelf. So let's see if that plays out well for me or not. Oh, that's perfect. You guys, I will show you whenever I am done with this, what I ended up doing in case you want to do something similar, but this is working out really well. So, um, yeah. So I was able to zip tie the light through two of the pedals. It's like the perfect fit. So that's great. I didn't have to use any sticky stuff or figure out anything else. It was really simple. So now I'm going to do the other shelf. Let's get a little bit of Windex on here. I'm gonna spray it a little bit more this time and hopefully that helps. I think the hardest part is getting it started. I'm glad I'm filming this. I really did not feel like filming. I haven't felt like filming in a while. I've just been in like a slump in which is like everything like emotionally and mentally. If those are not the same thing, I don't know. They might be. And not really, phys yeah, physically, I haven't been feeling the best either, but I'm hanging in there and this is exactly what I needed. I was just going to do it alone and not film it, but I was feeling like I really wanted to film it because I want to share this experience with you guys because I feel like it's a milestone in my plant career, which sounds so stupid, but you guys get it if you're plant people. And I just wanted to like show you guys my experience putting together a greenhouse cabinet because I will say I was very intimidated to do so because I... 
I mean, there's so many possibilities and there's still so many more possibilities that I could do with this cabinet in the future, like add on little accessories and stuff. But I wanted to show you like the starting point that I'm choosing to take and what I thought was most important if you guys ever decide to do your own because I want to like make it obtainable. So we got the first side off, but now one more. I will also say that you don't need an Ikea greenhouse cabinet. I know a ton of people who use like curio cabinets or just like there's this cabinet on Facebook marketplace that I'm kind of mad that is available now and not before I got this cabinet because honestly I probably would have gotten that one because it's like a mid-century modern like display cabinet it's really cute but I can't justify getting it because a I have nowhere to put it all of my space is currently taken up by furniture or plants and I am also, I have a turtle right now. So that's taking up a lot of space as well. So I'm leaving it behind for hopefully somebody else, but people post stuff like that in my plant group all of the time. Now you do have to be careful if you're using something wood that it doesn't, you know, get moldy or rot or anything. My friend actually has a china cabinet and she just got back into plants recently. And so at the beginning of that, she just added some lights to her china cabinet and started using that as a greenhouse cabinet and her plants did phenomenally. She has since gotten a Millsbow tall cabinet, which was a lot of fun to help her put together. And I know she's loving that right now. She does still use her china cabinet for plants, but she didn't want to have it as humid as it was with like her aeroids and stuff. So I think she's just keeping like cacti in there and not misting in there anymore. She had her reptile mister set up to it, which was really cool. But you can use things like that and you can weatherproof things like that as well. So you just gotta be creative if you don't have the budget for a greenhouse cabinet from Ikea, which they are pricey, but I don't think they're as pricey as they could be just because of how popular they are. So I'm... Just saying it is an investment to have a cabinet, but you can find cheaper options as well, such as little cabinets that you can find for like $50, $25 even on Facebook Marketplace or a thrift store. You just gotta like open your imagination to it. All right, finally we succeed. So let's go ahead and put this one in. Okay, I will say the only thing with these half shelves are you are gonna have to be careful with weight management. You definitely want to have some heavier weight in the back part because I could see this like tipping over if you put too much weight in the front or had like a hanging plant that was pretty heavy. But other than that, I am obsessed with the way this looks and you guys won't get the full image until there's plants in here, but I will show you guys a close up of the cabinet once I figure out the lights. That's going to be the most complicated part is how I'm going to get the light cord out of the cabinet and not make it look terrible. So go ahead and hang the next one. Oh, it's gonna be so awesome to be able to have more plants in here now because like I said before I wanted to have some taller things in here but I couldn't have both shelves and that was sad because I was losing so much real estate but now I'm going to be able to fill it up to capacity which will also help with humid humidity and I am just so excited. Now, I will say, if you guys can hear me, I'm trying to talk loud. My back is to you. That's kind of rude. I am a little nervous for the upcoming winter with my cabinet being in my bathroom because if you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know my bathroom is very cold. I've talked about it before. It gets very cold in the winter time. But I did have somebody come out and they said it was perfectly insulated. They gave me some pointers. So hopefully... I will utilize the pointers that they give me and we'll be fine, but I am a little nervous for that part of the cabinet being in my bathroom. I'm gonna figure out how to get the cords on these lights and I'm gonna turn the camera off for now because A, my battery is dying and B, I've already been filming for 35 minutes, so I think I need to give it a break. But I'll just go ahead and show you guys a little sneak peek before I do that. So up here, you can see where some of the sticky residue is. I might be able to get it off, I might try. And then my shelves. So you can see like, I have the room for taller plants here and I have room for taller plants here. And it's looking real cute. So I'm gonna figure out the lights now. We have light. So I wanna give you guys a close up because I forgot. I just put a zip tie through the petals and I hung the light. And these cords barely work, but they fit and they're like tight. So they're not, there's no slack or anything, which is kind of nice. 
and yeah so I have one on each shelf and we made it work we did the best we could I don't think I'm gonna add a second one up here right now I think this is totally fine and then as far as the power cable goes luckily my outlet is right there so I just pulled it through the door for now although I think I would probably be able to fit it through this little gap which would be even better but I would have to take the top part off and I don't feel like figuring that out right now. So we are just going to leave it like this and I just have to make sure that the cord goes in this little opening right here and then it closes fine. Well, it closed fine a minute ago. We're going to have to figure that out still, but... Yay, now I can put plants in. All right, we are ready to put things back in the cabinet. The angle is probably different and not as good now, but that is okay because that is a Lunar Nights by Lori classic video style. So, oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I can't, I'm like a little overwhelmed right now. Like, this is like so good. I don't even know, like, I need more of these black shelves. I have so much room, but okay. All right, my ne my head needs to like turn off and I just need to do. So we're going to get started. This one is going in first. And actually, I want to give it a tray to catch the water because it's run off into the cabinet and that's no good. So let me find, I actually, oh, it fits perfectly right there. Look at that. It has room and I can add more. You guys, I'm so happy I did this. Okay, I'm taking this. You are going to see me using a lot of glass, like, flat trays. I find these at the Goodwill, and I decided in this cabinet I want to use all glass trays. And I also eventually want to go to all black pots because I think it would look so sleek in here. And I figured why not just make it, like, exactly what I want over time. Of course, I'm not just going to go out and buy all of those things right now. But at the Goodwill, I find these, and they usually come in sets of, like, a bunch, like, four or five. And they're usually like $1.50. So if you're looking for an alternative to having to buy catch trays, go to the thrift store. Guys, it's already so good. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> All right. scissors all right here's the finished cabinet i'm so sad i tried to film myself putting all the plants back in here but i ran out of storage so that's really annoying but i'll show you guys a little close up now i am so pleased with how this came out it looks wonderful and so much better than it did so i have mostly hoya in here if you're not surprised and i don't know if i have a clip of me saying but i'm trying to find a bunch of these like glass things at the Goodwill which is where I've gotten all of them so far and I want all of my trays to be these glass trays in the cabinet and eventually I would like to have them all in black pots because I think it would look really sleek and cool but essentially I had to put the heavier Hoya on this side and the lighter ones on this side and so I put the shelf over here as well because you kind of want something to weigh this side down so it doesn't tip over because I could see that being an issue just based on the weight that I was putting on it and yeah so another thing i wanted to say because i said this in the clip that didn't record is i should have put that part on the bottom so it was a little bit flatter but you really can't see it in the end so that's okay but here's the second shelf it's set up pretty much the same way as that top shelf is it has the light above it that's that light and i have more of the little glass trays and here's the shelf so this is exactly why i wanted these half shelves is so i could put taller plants in these sections and have room for them to grow so eventually i think i'll put another aeroid in here on a pole i don't have a lot of plants on poles i don't plan on having a lot of plants on poles but it is ideal that i can have space to do it now because before i had to take this shelf completely out because it's just a full shelf the one that came with the cabinet and I couldn't put this under it because as you can see, it's taller than the shelf. So I lost out on all of that real estate to put plants. And now I can put taller plants on both sides because I have the two wavy shelves that I put at different angles. 
So there is my cabinet. I'm so sorry that that last clip didn't record. That is the problem with recording on the back camera of your phone. You can't see that sort of thing. But here is another overview of it. My Barina T5s, my new shelves, and that was basically all I added. And it really was a little updo to the cabinet. Let's shut it and see what it looks like behind closed doors. Oh, heck yeah, it looks so cute. I'll figure out this later, but, and now we have a mess because we unboxed all that stuff, but here's a little overview of my bathroom. Basically, my angle from the toilet, which may be TMI, but here you are. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if this video was kind of boring or you didn't like seeing the way I set up my cabinet, but I really appreciate you watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. That's okay too, I understand. And if you have any tips or suggestions for how I can improve my cabinet even more, leave them down below. Leave me anything that you do with your cabinet or what you like best about yours, or if you've turned something old into something new, such as like a old Kiro cabinet or something into your greenhouse, let me know about that too, because I love all the things about plant cabinets. And subscribe to my channel for more random content. I will see you guys next time.